in progress. <clears throat> Our Fiesta is a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause of the innocent, the helpless, Powerless in a world of criminals who operate above the law. Or a bunch of assorted rascals. Tonight's Far Out Fiesta is episode 255, Revenge of the Rascals. Featuring the Far Out Fiesta, Little Rascals. Uh, but not in a way that infringes on any copyrights, you dig? Far Out, let's Fiesta. Allergic rascals in Sneezer Appeaser. While this is the best pond in the world to cool off in on a hot summer day. Hey, my boyfriend. Hey, if I put my finger under your nose, will you sneeze? <laughs> of course. I don't like boys anymore. Mary, would you like to go swimming? Sure. Mary Ann, if I put my finger right under... I will your... bite it off. Oh. That'd be open up to a flesh-eating virus. Last one in is rotten egg. Cannonball. <laughs> four and four and a half somersaults. Wow, that dive has a high degree of difficulty. Yeah, I make it look easy. <laughs> or Kennedy, what are you doing here? Oh, give me a minute to think up a wise guy answer. Oh, I got one. I'm cooking a steak. That's the best you can do. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. you kids aren't skinny dipping, are ya? What are you doing here spying on children and wondering if they're naked? Oh, read mm -hmm. the sign. What sign? This no swimming sign? Oh, well, we see it now, Officer Candidate. Darling, I have a plan. I'll whisper in your ear. Now you are. I like it. Instead of whispering it to Lagoon, I'm yanking Officer Kennedy into the pond. <laughs> oh, you're yanking an officer of the lore. And about to be wetter, officer of the law. You're right. Um, I shouldn't yank an officer of the law without yanking his keys first. Yank! Oh, my keys. My fingers under your nose. Yank, yank. yank. And I'm falling into the ponds and I can't swim. Then we're going to take your motorcycle. And sidecar. Or to get help. I think I broke my ankle and a catfish is sucking my blood. Hey, cool, cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. Yeah, cool whispers. Thanks. Legume, I think you're going to have to get his gun. This has been Allergic Rascals in Sneezer Appeaser. Next up, Irrational Rascals in Irritating Skating. Irrational Rascals in Irritating Skating. It's so hot this summer. Do you think I'm dying of cancer? It is hot this summer. And you can't die from cancer if you're a Virgo. I'm just glad we have an ice skating rink in town. Hmm. Do you see that spider? I think he's a transistor. Mackie, maybe we have a nice rink. Maybe we don't. What's that supposed to mean? Climate change impacts everything. The ice caps are melting. Oh, that's silly. Let's go ice skate. Hokey smokes. Well, there's no ice at all at the ice skating rink. Oh, you. The light is listening to me. This gives me a brilliant idea. Oh, way ahead of you, pal. We strap giant ice blocks on our feet. And skate down the hill to school. Everyone <laughs> at the school will see our ice skates and will want to buy more from us. 
And we could just mix up more ice as we make more water. Ah, we interrupt this year, Rational Rascals, with an update on school bus crash caused by children using blocks of ice as skates. There were no survivors. Wait, sorry. We cannot reveal the names of the casualties until the next of kin can be notified, but it's all of them. Damn it. This has been Irrational Rascals in Irritating Skating. Next up, Punk Rascals. Rascals. Punk Rascals in Obo Hobo. Punk Rascals in Obo Hobo. In Darlene and Legume's Crash Pad Rehearsal Studio, a.k.a. Clubhouse. Oi, do we have any more overtime? Did you check the shoebox in the back of the clubhouse? Where there is young people and vitality, you're going to find a punk rock. <clears throat> Why the weird grandma? How does that help you with your overtime problem? Punk rock? Is it something you grow out of? Punk rock is an attitude, and the essence of that attitude is give us some truth. What that matter with you, Well, without me overtain, me blood sugar goes that generating steam heat, and I get super punk. I think we're out of chocolate, Al. What a cool thing to call the overtain. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Let's go break into somebody's clubhouse. <laughs> I could use a... I could use as a nick patch. From the bushes across the street, Marianne and Smacky wait for Legume and Darlene to leave. They are currently banned from the clubhouse for coloring outside the lines. Are we going to leave? leave. I feel like pissing in a drawer through. Will you give me a piggyback ride? I piss off. I'm playing my bloody Depeche mode on my hobo. Everything counts. What kind of saint? Marianne, you stupid cow. Oh, cool. This bloody everything counts. I'm playing everything counts on my bloody oboe all bloody day, but I can't get it bloody right. You love this oboe more you love me. I'll lie in your arms and raise your eyes and see you safety in your face. I'm throwing it in the bloody street. Oh, my oboe. I'm not allowed to go in the street. Hang on. Let's break it into the house, huh? I mean, I have a key. Uh, that obo was worth $40,000. Oh, don't be a wanker. As long as no one gets runs over it, it'll be here when we get back. And if somebody does? It'll sound better. 30 to 45 minutes later, Legume and Darlene return to the clubhouse. Legume and Darlene are going to be pissed when they get here. Who is that? <laughs> Somebody drank all of me high C. And somebody smoked all of my second... And third. Second and third... Second and third hand cigarette box. Smack A, did you drink up all of me high C? Legume, I cannot tell a lie. Okay. Yes, Legume, Smack and drank up all your high C. And my lips have always been orange. Then I'll go heat up the tar. Darlene, will you go pluck the chicken? Well, of course I will, Legoom. But first, Smacky, did you smoke all of my second and third hand cigarette butts? Darlene, I cannot tell a lie. First of all, I don't even smoke. And oh, not only get I tell multiple lies, I smoke enough to get a deal on a stomach. Smoky drank your high tea drink and smoked your butts. I think you should be hot on him. No, no, you don't have to punish me. I'll exile myself. Just me and Marianne. Right, Marianne? Oh, I, I see how it is. I'm leaving. Now, hold on there, Smacky. Yes, Legume. Don't let the door hit you with a good lord split you. <sighs> I wasn't going to make him leave. I was just going to make him sleep on a bare mattress near the cat box. Talk to the kitty. Hello. Mom, 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 mom. Now 
Margaret is gone. Mary Ann, Legume, and I, we poisoned my parents. <laughs> we may need an alibi. You're on your own there, Dollface. Smacky wanders along the railroad tracks, punching mm. doves in the groin. Mm. Boy, oh boy, I sure am sad. Ooh, none of my friends want to be friends with me. Ah, take that, Dove. Punch. Hey, you mind if I eat that rat dove? Uh, I mean, I guess not. Well, what's the problem, Tiger? Well, I'm a human, not a tiger. Who are you? Uh, are you blind and dumb? Boxcar Bill at your service. You wouldn't happen to know where I... Find a job, would you? Well, that is a very good question for a hobo to ask a child. I do know of a couple of people who might be able to help you find a job. Right this way, boxcar bill. Punch! Can I, can I have that dove too? Sure. This way. All right, they're right over there. Darlene, Marianne, I'm bringing this strange man into our clubhouse. Dangerous. Hey, exciting. Well, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Boxcar Bill, but you can call me Boxcar Bill. We won't call you that. How can we help you? Well, you see, I'm just a humble man trying to earn an honest book. I can cover the boot and bust the bronco. And I can blow glass and find turnips from 80 feet away. How are you providing poisoning alibis? Well, that's going to cost you. I will break this bottle and cut you with it back, old man. <clears throat> this has been Punk Rascals in Oboe Hobos. Uh, next up... Rorschach Rascals in Manners Planners. Rorschach Rascals in Manners Planners. Do I have your permission to record this session? You're the CSI therapist. I'll do anything you say to stay out of prison. Uh, I can assure you they will not throw a child in an adult prison. They have already started secret construction on a child prison. Oh, what level of security? Middle school. <gasps> I'd like to look at this ink blot. I'd like you to tell me what you see, and then I'd like you to tell me if you were involved in the soda shop explosions on the night of September 26th. Are you here just for this or exposition? I have a backstory, bitch. Is part of your backstory calling little children like me bitches? Show me the damn ink blot. Look at this ink blot. Say the first thing that comes to your mind. Lemon meringue pie. Lemon meringue pie, but with lemmings. That's right. You may have something there. Now, I'd like... For you to tell me in your own words what happened on the night of September 26th. To tell the story of that night, I need to tell you what led up to that night. I guess. Do you mind if I smoke? Knock yourself out. It happened like this. <clears throat> Look at him. Your best friend, Smacky, looks so down in the dumps that rats have built the equivalent of ant farms in his lower GI. He does? I guess men don't recognize things like that. What should I do? Maybe if I ask him, he'll spill his gut. Uh-uh. Gut clean up is woman's work. Your boyfriend's status is hanging by a thread. I'll talk to Smacky first. Good, because I really don't care. I think I'm in love with the diminutive blonde girl. Capricorn? That's right. Her dad owns the Zodiac Soda Shop. Well, that detail feels superfluous. I want to ask her out on a date, but I'm scared. What if he asks her out for a date 
in her father's soda shop. And then Legume and I can be at the next table. We'll use semaphore flags for date coaching. Will they let me bring semaphore flags into the soda shop? Yeah, I know my rights. Semaphore flags in a soda shop for a soda first date? It sounds like a plan. Hmm. Well, that is a weak yes, but I'll take it. Should I bring the volatile plastic explosives or should you? Buy a little from column A and a little from column B. That's fine. What? Your hour's up. And? I'm going to recommend that they lock you up in kitty prison. Really? That's right. Are you sure? Of course I am. Is that a trigger? Are you wired with explosives? This has been Rorschach Rascals in Manners Planners. Next up, Roller Derby Rascals in Bookie Hookie. Roller Derby Rascals in <laughs> Bookie Hookie. Hey, Officer Kennedy, nice skates. Oh, thanks. They're rentals. I have something I need to ask you. Oh, yes, Legume. Are you sure you want to bet with a child on tonight's bout? Oh, what's about? It's about 4.30. Oh, I you shot me. What have I told you about jokes like that? That I may bleed to death. <laughs> Rub some dirt on it. Guys, you have to hide me. Oh, nice skates. Oh, thank you. Hide ya from what? Mrs. Clutch. Ah, uh, the, uh, oh, that sweet old lady from the orphanage. Sweet old lady? She's orphan jerky. Oh, I think you sure should. You two should talk it out. And I think your head should be rammed into that roller derby turn, 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 thing. Well, if you really think so. Hey, wait a minute. No, ram, ram, coma. He's in a coma. Yeah, for simple. Hey, I'll hide you, Marianne. Switch clothes. What? Switch. Close, then she'll think that I'm you, and then you can skip town on the next banana boat. Is this just because you want to wear my clothes? Does that matter? Oh, which? Why? Oh my! This this is pretty flattering on me, and and I think I think it worked. She's coming right at me. Nice skates. Thanks, Marianne. Is that Officer Kennedy? Yes. He's in a coma. Well, he still owes me for last week's bout. He lost big. Huh. I bet both the, both the born and the unborn... He bet both the born and the unborn souls of all children in his lineage. It worked. She thinks I'm you, and I'm realizing some things about myself. Back up later. Yeah, yeah. Well, huh. Sayonara, suckers. Bye. Marianne, you will need to come with me back to the orphanage. But I'm really a, a boy. No judgment. I have three ding dongs. Uh, well, and I have parents. Semantics. Well, actually, my parents are anti-semantics. Oh, ah, ow, ah, you shot me. Yeah, I, I deserve that. Now, be cool. It looks like they're going to kick us out of Parkinson's free skate. Here they come. Here they come. Cool. This could take a minute. This has been Roller Derby Rascals in Bookie Hookie. Next up, Quicksand Rascals in Treasure Displeasure. Quicksand Rascals in Treasure Displeasure. Hold hands with them, marry them, murder them. You go first, Yum. Can I say hold hands, 
Then murder? What's that? The little brother from Sister Sister? Behind Taj Maori? <clears throat> it looks like a treasure map. It sure is. It requires us to take our way to a small island. But, but neither of us are skilled in the ways of watercraft. We'll improvise. Okay. I need an occupation. No, not improv. Improvise. L let's steal a boat. Fortunately, both Marianne and Darlene know how to hotwire speedboats, drive them, and can extrapolate accurate directions based on vague scribblings. Oh, they're falling right into our little trap box car, Bill. And your Carol Burnett show dancer outfit looks good. I'm a pirate. No way. Oh, pirates ain't got code pieces. Are you a background dancer from a Saved by the Bell episode? I'm a pirate. Yeah, pirate Zack attack. <sighs> What were we talking about? They're falling right into our trap. They'll they'll come to our islands where we'll be dressed like pirates. And we'll get them to take over our time machine. Using their parents' credit info. Yeah, they sure are, Officer Kennedy. You know, I'm glad you reached out. I've been wanting to do to work with you on a project. Oh, shame is anywho. Well, Marianne and Darlene are pulling into the lagoon as we speak. We're in the lagoon! What a weird thing to declare. Oh, uh, your mom's a weird thing to declare. No, uh, ha, ha, ha. Real funny. Ahoy, baby. Oh, shiver me timbers. Would you, would you scary pirates? <laughs> Please help pull our boat onto the beach. Well, we sure can. And we're going to give you the deal of your life. And strike the boat. Which one of you wants to form a scary pirate bridge so that I can walk safely to the shore? Well, I would, but I seem to be sinking in quicksand. Oh, I'm stuck in quicksand, too. Our Malta meal. It's cool. We're close enough to the shore where we can hop out. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> this sand is so quick. It's like uh, quicksand on too many caffeine pills. I'm I'm not good at those. Let's see what kind of valuables they left on the island. Uh, I got up to my chest faster than an old man hushes a baby in church. It's kind of cool that a boxcar... That boxcar Bill died coming up with a kick-ass metaphor. <laughs> Don't say lord us out here. I don't feel guilty at all. Uh-oh. Yes, you're totally the perms. Uh -oh. oh, you can still save me. I'm uh -oh. an officer of the law. Uh, yeah, an officer of the law who lured two girls onto an island. Yeah, a dead officer that lured two girls to an island because that quick scene was so fast. Oh, cool. Apple Watch. Ooh, and I can use this iPad. <laughs> this has been Quicksand Rascals in Treasure Displeasure. Next up, nothing. We're done. Oh, man, this has also been Far Out Fiesta episode 255, Revenge of the Rascals. Please give it up for our amazing cast, Kristen Keith, yeah. Rob Hutchbat, Juliana Briscoe. Yeah. I am Richard Hilton. Okay. And Richard Hilton. An oh so humble narrator. Hey, 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 before we get out of here. I need to know whether you have done any of these, any or all of these things at birthday parties at any point in your life. First one, have you ever had a birthday party at any point of your life? Popped balloons with your butt. Two, have you ever passed lifesavers from one toothpick to another, one child to another through toothpick lifesaver? Three, 
smashed a pinata. Do I can go first? I have popped balloons with my butt. It's been a long time, but I have popped balloons with my butt. We had some kind of swinger mom wanting children to pass lifesavers with their mouths and toothpicks when I was in elementary school. So I've done that as well. And not as a child, but I have smashed a pinata as an adult. So, Kristen, what about you? At a birthday party, have you ever popped balloons with your butt? I don't recall if I ever did or not. It's probably something I wouldn't want to do because I just don't like <laughs> popping balloons. Oh, yeah, I get that. Okay, fair enough. What about I, the lifesaver thing? I have I have done the game of passing the lifesavers with a toothpick. Okay, good. And when you get next to the, the person you got that you like, you know, and yeah yeah and then yeah. <laughs> the pinata what's the other one pinata oh 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 yes i've done them. i've smashed those i've smashed pinata. Cool. Blah, 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 pinatas <laughs> not cool. for sure <laughs> what about you jules did you ever pop a balloon with your butt either at a party or on other circumstances i don't have to narrow yeah. it down okay Heck cool yeah, pop a balloon with my butt all right what I about the not done the, i'm not done the life lifesavers with toothpick thing but i'm okay. definitely like also Done my fair share of smashing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. What about you, Rob? Popping balloons with your butt? I don't recall if I popped them with my butt. Okay. I always like to sort of grab them and like like pull them apart like the Hulk. Got you it. know? Oh, yeah. yeah. And that, that was always much more fun. That is cool. Uh, the lifesaver thing I've actually never even heard of. I guess I went to the wrong parties. I, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even popping as a child. Uh -huh. I never had anyone <laughs> with the toothpick the lifesaver with me. Um, and then as far as the pinatas, yep. yes. All right, cool. I think maybe yes. the butt balloon thing was super popular when I was a child because you really could not go to a birthday party in my day without popping balloons with your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Have must have been on? a Richardson thing. I don't know, man. Yeah, maybe, uh, it must have been. It must have yeah. been. There were kids doing that at, at parties I went to when I was a kid too, but I just didn't participate in the got it. The butt balloon popping. <laughs> we, 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 didn't, we didn't go that way in East Texas. That sounds like working for the devil right there. So yeah, it could you know, be. Two big city folks your wicked uh, ways. A lot, a lot of <laughs> idle hands putting balloons under butts. I know. <laughs> Does anybody have any projects? Talk a bunch of Methodists or something. <laughs> <laughs> that they would like to plug? Anything coming up? Um, I did this music video for this guy in Nepal. Wow. Um, so uh, his name is Nima Harumba. Uh, and spelled like it sounds. <laughs> Nina or Nima N I M A so Nima then Rumba R U M B A okay Nima Rumba apparently Nima Rumba. he's big in that part of the world awesome and anyway yeah there's a music video they shot around here and they released it today cool and it's called Crazy Lover so, awesome eh, check it out cool it's sure worth a giggle just about everyone's probably already seen it but if you haven't Cool. If you're in Nepal, if you're if you're on Mount Everest right now, you've definitely seen it. <laughs> okay, if so you're a Sherpa, play, you've already got the album. But you know, it, do you play the the Crazy Lover or what? You'll have to you'll have to watch and find out for yourself. Aww. Oh, there's the plug. Yep, I'm teased. I'm teased now. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Thanks, everybody. We will see you next week. Have a good week. Goodbye. Cool.